Devin Lerritt just broke his all-time pronation lift record, managing 160 pounds for a single. And since Devin invented this lift and he has the current highest numbers on it, whenever he hits a PR, that's automatically a new world record. So this means that Devin has now broken the world record in this lift. Let's take a look at the video. So to be honest, my very first thought when seeing that lift was that Devin's arm angle opened up quite a bit. When we see him do this lift normally, he tends to keep his arm angle around 90 degrees. But on this lift, I feel like he got pulled open a little bit beyond 90 degrees. So initially, that would be a bit concerning for Devin fans. A lot of people were thinking that Devin's true max might be closer to 170 pounds. But if he's already getting forced open at 160, that doesn't look good for his chances against Levon. But I also saw the recent Concrete Albo video that compared a lot of Devin's lifts over the past year or so. And I realized that Devin's arm actually has opened up beyond 90 degrees before this lift. So this isn't a new thing that was only caused by the increase in weight. It looks like Devin's been doing this for a while now. If we take a look at the lift from October 16 of 2023, it looks nearly the same as the one where Devin just hit 160 pounds. But still, it kind of looks like Devin is ever so slightly more stretched out on this recent lift than any of the other ones. But let me know what you guys think about this because it's so close and also the camera angles are a bit different, so it's really hard for me to tell. There is also something else that is a bit concerning when looking at this lift, and that is Devin's hand. It almost looks like Devin's hand is getting slightly rotated palm up. Normally when Devin does these pronation lifts, his pronator is rock solid and doesn't even budge. But on this one, it might have failed just a tiny bit. I am also assuming though that Devin will continue to increase the weight from here, and sometimes whenever Devin takes that first jump in weight, that very first rep is the one that looks the worst. After he starts getting used to it, the form begins to improve and his technique is back to pretty much perfect. But at the moment, it's a bit difficult to tell how much of Devin's increase in weight is only from him getting straight up stronger and how much of it is from his form breaking down. All that being said, this is still a world record on this lift and even if the form broke down a little bit, it is still insanely impressive. And considering that Devin is almost certainly going to hit that open top roll and then roll out into a king's move for this match, his arm angle opening a bit is not necessarily a bad thing as far as his style is concerned. No matter how much Devin's arm angle opens, the lift is still going to apply to the table for him. Now, there is still one more thing that has to be mentioned, and that is the fact that Devin heavily cheated on this lift. If he simply lifted the weight raw, this would have been very impressive, but he did not do this. He used the assistance of both Skittles and the backwards hat method simultaneously to artificially boost his numbers. This is the equivalent of wearing a squat suit and a powerlifting meet. It doesn't mean you aren't strong without it, but it's clearly helping you. So can we really know that Devin is stronger based off of this lift, or is it only the Skittles? It's difficult to tell. I suppose we'll have to wait until April to find out for sure.